In the early 2000s, American soldiers were deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. They received training to deal with rebel threats and endure the extreme heat, but they couldn't have expected the hidden danger posed by IEDs, improvised explosive devices. These homemade bombs have enough explosive force to penetrate the strong armor of military vehicles and harm anyone caught in their blast. To counter this threat, the MRAP, mine-resistant ambush protected vehicle, was developed. It's like a tough mobile fortress made of steel, designed to withstand landmines. But what exactly is the MRAP, and how did it come into existence? Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Hop aboard and experience the MRAPs Unleashed, the iron giants that saved thousands of American troops and reshaped modern warfare. MRAPs are big, tough armored vehicles that the US military uses to keep its soldiers and stuff safe from IEDs and other dangerous weapons. People like MRAPs because they're super good at defending against attacks. These vehicles are covered in strong steel, so they can easily withstand bullets, explosives, and even direct hits from things like RPGs, rocket-propelled grenades. Because they're so tough, MRAPs are useful for lots of different things. But here's an interesting fact. Even though they're widely used by the US military, MRAPs didn't originate in America. They were actually developed in South Africa. The idea of a super tough vehicle that can resist mines came about in South Africa during the 1980s when there were serious conflicts going on. The South African Police and the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research asked the Defense Research Unit to create a strong vehicle that could safely carry troops in areas with lots of landmines. This vehicle had to be really good at driving off-road, have armor that could withstand bullets and explosions, and be easy to fix and take care of. That's how they came up with the mine-resistant, ambush-protected vehicle called the Caspier. The Caspier, nicknamed the Citadel, was a huge success and proved the idea worked. This vehicle could safely carry around 12 troops and their gear, even in rough areas with landmines. It had really strong armor that was carefully made to stop things like shrapnel, bullets up to 7.62 caliber, and even RPGs. The armor was designed to cover the whole body of the vehicle, so the people inside were completely safe from bullets, explosions, flying pieces, and even chemical or biological weapons. It also had a big 20mm cannon and holes where soldiers could shoot their guns from while staying protected inside. Certain versions of the Caspier had special metal wheels that could drive right over landmines without any problem. Because of its incredible strength, the Caspier could do lots of different jobs for the military and police. It worked as an armored personnel carrier, APC, a big transport for important stuff, and even a vehicle for finding and getting rid of landmines. Lots of countries, including the United Nations, used the Caspier for their peacekeeping missions, and it became really famous worldwide. Most importantly, the Caspier had all the important features that you find in an MRAP. It basically set the foundation for future MRAPs. It had a thick, strong armor shell, a high clearance underside, and a V-shaped chassis that saved lives. When there's an explosion, the damage is less severe the farther you are from the center of the explosion. An MRAP is specially designed to lessen the impact of an explosion and protect the people inside. The high clearance means there's a good distance between the vehicle and an explosive, and the V-shaped chassis directs shrapnel away from the passengers and towards the sides of the vehicle to keep them safe. When the time came, the MRAP was exactly what the US military needed. The insurgents may not have had the same firepower and strategy, but they were clever in using carefully hidden IEDs. These homemade landmines were perfect for ambushing and hurting American troops without engaging in a direct fight. Roadside IEDs and mines were causing serious damage to standard military vehicles, including the M2 Bradley APC and the M1 Abrams armored vehicle. Even worse, many lives were lost in these attacks, with brave men and women falling victim to the insurgents and the threat of IEDs. The US needed a solution, and they needed it quickly. However, the widespread use of MRAPs didn't happen right away. In the early stages of the conflict, they only had 54 MRAPs in action on the front lines, but the results were truly remarkable. The number of deaths related to IEDs significantly decreased. Soldiers could reach their destinations safely, and even when they encountered an IED explosion, they managed to escape without any harm. This marked the beginning of the MRAP era. The first generation of MRAPs for the United States military arrived soon after with the Cougar MRAP. 
These MRAPs faced almost 300 IED incidents in their first year of operation, yet miraculously, there were no casualties among the crew. The US military pulled off an incredible feat of organization when it came to getting and deploying MRAPs. To speed up the production of these vehicles, the Department of Defense brought in multiple companies like BA Systems, Navistar, Armor Holdings, Force Protection, and many more to manufacture MRAPs in large numbers. In just 18 months, they managed to produce, test, and send 10,000 MRAPs to the front lines. It reached a point where almost every branch of the US military had access to 28,000 MRAPs. This was a remarkable and groundbreaking demonstration of the immense capability of the United States military machine. The arrival of MRAPs marked a significant turning point in the battle against insurgent forces. Deaths and vehicle destruction decreased rapidly, and the troops became more effective and safer than ever before. The US military made a bunch of changes and improvements to the MRAP design to make it even better. The MRAP still had its super tough high clearance design and that V-shaped chassis we talked about earlier. But they added special seats that could absorb shock to protect the soldiers inside and keep them from getting hurt by the blast. Some versions even had fancy features like winches, automated turrets, systems to help with breathing, ventilation systems, and a bunch of defenses in case of a nuclear, biological, or chemical attack. The US military had two main types of MRAPs for their various military missions, and each type had its own specific jobs. They split MRAPs into two categories, Category 1 and 2. The smaller Category 1 MRAPs were used for things like general tasks and quick responses, while the larger Category 2 MRAPs were meant for more serious operations like medical evacuation and getting rid of landmines. Category 1 MRAPs were made up of smaller 4x4 vehicles that were based on the Cougar MRAP design. These Category 1 MRAPs had a driver and could carry up to five passengers. They had a place to mount a 7.62 machine gun or a 40mm grenade launcher, and they could also be equipped with certain automated turrets. They had systems that could help the driver with risky driving situations, and a winch to get the MRAP unstuck or flipped over if needed. Category 1 MRAPs were used for smaller and practical tasks like towing, patrolling, supporting convoys, observing from the front, and managing command and control posts. Some of these models even had built-in computers and communication systems for coordinating with ground troops. Category 2 MRAPs, on the other hand, were considered the toughest and most survivable of all MRAPs. These larger vehicles were built to be incredibly strong and were used in high-pressure and dangerous situations. They served as ambulances, carried valuable cargo, and were used for handling explosive ordnance disposal on the move. One specific model, called the Buffalo, was designed especially for getting rid of landmines and IEDs. The Buffalo had really thick 6-inch ballistic glass shields, and it was enclosed in cage armor to protect it from small to powerful explosives. Its most unique feature was its advanced robotic arm. This arm could be controlled to make precise movements, like digging in soil or carefully lifting an active landmine. It had multiple cameras and sensors, including infrared, to detect hidden explosives. MRAPs like these played a crucial role in keeping troops safe, no matter when or where they were needed. The MRAP didn't just shield troops, it genuinely saved the lives of countless individuals and shifted the balance of power in the fight against insurgent forces. It's clear that the MRAP played an indispensable role in safeguarding soldiers and promoting peace and stability worldwide. And that concludes this video. Have you ever rode inside these bad boys? What's it like to ride an MRAP? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to discover more and experience more.